Hi, I'm Lindsay with American Patchwork and Quilting, and this video is brought to you by Baby Lock. Looking for a different way to finish your quilt? Add facing instead of binding for a clean, modern look. It allows you to secure the raw edges of your quilted project without adding the frame that traditional quilt binding does. Bonus! This technique adds hanging corner triangles to your quilt at the same time. The first thing you want to do is prep your facing strips in the same way you would prep your binding strips. So take two and a half inch wide strips and then you're going to fold them wrong sides together and press them in place. So you can make a continuous facing strip if you'd like or you can only prep strips that are the length of each side of your quilt. So you can use shorter strips like we are here or just one length. You also want to cut four to five inch squares and you will fold them with the corners together to form a triangle with wrong sides together. You're going to make four of these, one for each corner of the quilt. Now you want to lay your quilted quilt right side up on your table and you're going to take your corner triangles that you just made and lay them in each corner with the raw edges aligning with the two raw edges on each corner. Then take one of your facing strips and you're going to align it about halfway through that triangle with these open raw edges on the edge of your quilt and align everything and then you're just going to trim it about halfway through this other triangle. You just want to make sure that the two ends of your facing strip are overlapping the triangle so you don't have those raw edges. Then stitch the quarter inch seam starting from the corner. This will secure both the triangle and the facing strip. I'm using my quarter inch foot on this baby lock machine. We're going to continue adding our facing strips all around the quilt in that same manner. So grab your next prepped facing strip and you're going to align it with those raw edges facing the outside of your quilt and then trim on that next corner and then continue sewing all the way around. Sew your quarter inch seam down the side. Continue adding strips until you've gone the entire way around your quilt. To give extra stability to each corner, you want to stitch a line diagonally just outside of the seam allowance to secure it. Next, you want to press each of your facing strips out really well. Then you're going to sew a scant quarter inch on your facing strip, and this just helps it roll to the back of the quilt more easily. Next, you want to clip your corners off to reduce bulk. Just make sure to not clip into your stitching lines. Now you're going to flip your quilt so the back is facing you and press those facing strips to the back of your quilt. Then, here's where the magic happens. You're going to flip the corner triangles to the back and use a point turner to get those points nice and sharp. Repeat this on all of your corners. The last step is to hand stitch the facing strips down to the back of your quilt. We did it on one of the strips here. If you leave your corner triangles unstitched, you can add a dowel to hang it. Adding facing to your quilt is a great way to get a modern finished look to your projects. 